drivers behind the lines. In three, two, one, go. And we are off. We've got two cubes in the lower row for the Blue Alliance. We've got 8116 working on dropping a cube into the top row for the Red Alliance. And we've got two engagements for both alliances at the end of the autonomous period. We've got Fixed Gears working on grabbing another cube from their loading zone to score more points for the Blue Alliance. Hatchet Robotics is working on grabbing a cone from their loading zone for the Red Alliance. Fixed Gear is now working on placing that cube, trying to decide which grid they'd like to put it in. The Robo Devils are able to successfully place a cube into their lower co-op grid. We've got two robots on the Red Alliance working on grabbing cones for their team. Fixed Gear is working on grabbing another cube for the Blue Alliance. We've got Castle High School working on some defense against the Red Alliance. Looks like they have a cone stuck in the robot, making it difficult for them to interact with the game pieces. Robo Devils coming back to the Blue Alliance with another cube, placing it while Fixed Gears does the same. Robo Devils coming back with another cube for the Blue Alliance. Got Castle Robotics coming in with a cone. Fixed Gears grabbing another cube for the Blue Alliance. Robo Devils just placed a cube in the lower row for the Blue Alliance, finishing off another link. We've got Fixed Gears working on placing a cube into their top row for the co-op grid, and they are able to successfully get it in. We have the Red Alliance working on getting their charging station engaged. Blue Alliance working on the same. And it looks like they just barely lose it at the last second. Let's see how these scores shake out. And we are ready to see those scores. And the winner is the Red Alliance. With the final score of 91 to 76, earning four ranking points for the Red Alliance.